In the first round, we have Vitavia, Washington. You guys already know about Vitavia. He's insanely athletic for his size and takes up a lot of space. He's heavy as a pass rusher and some scouts only see him as a two down player. He flashes so much potential with his insane genetics and he fits into Bill Parcells theory. There are just so many people on this planet that can move like Vea. He needs to work on his pass rushing moves from the inside, but the talent and ability are there in flying colors. In the second round, we have Taven Bryan, Florida. Athletic ability is off the charts for him. He has excellent pass rush ability and can play both inside and outside. The potential is there, but he lacks the natural instincts of a pass rusher. He needs to work on his feel for the game as he's only getting by on athletic ability at this point. Part of me worries about how you develop instincts and feel, but the ability is well worth it to take a shot. In the third round, we have Maurice Hurst, Michigan. Hurst is all over the place on the draft boards. He fits perfectly into what the Raiders need as an upfield penetrator. He's insanely quick and very light. Hurst's size can be a problem though as he's very small for a tackle and really doesn't offer much in scheme versatility. The biggest problem though will be his heart condition. It stopped him from working out at the combine and will be up to the doctors. If all checks out, he could turn into quite the steal. In the fourth round, we have BJ Hill, NC State. Hill has excellent ability for a big man. He plays with good instincts and is known for penetrating as a defensive tackle. He fits a lot in terms of what the Raiders need from defensive tackles. The problem is, he needs to get stronger. He's weak at holding the point of attack and really doesn't have a bull rush. I think he's worth picking in the fourth round as he can be used situationally to rush from the inside. In the fifth round, we have Jojo Wicker, Arizona State. Quickness and pass rushing are Wicker's strength. The talent isn't off the charts, but there's plenty there for coaches to work with. He put on weight last year, but was still pushed around. He's very scheme versatile and has played every position on the defensive line. For a fifth round pick, there's plenty to work with. He will rotate in as an interior pass rusher and has a chance to be on the field early. In the sixth round, we've Khalil McKenzie Jr., Tennessee. Yes, he is Reggie McKenzie's son. He physically looks the part and has tremendous size and speed and was a five-star recruit. He should have stayed in school and taken more time to develop. He looks the part, but doesn't really play like it. He gets pushed around and there's really a lack of technique. The talent is off the charts for a player this late and hopefully he can reach his potential one day with proper development. In the seventh round, we have Bruce Hector, South Florida. Sacks are what Hector does best. He's had 5 as a sophomore and 6 as a junior. We know the pass rush ability is there for this guy. Hector is a quick penetrating defensive tackle but only weighs 295 pounds. The upside is there for him to one day be a situational interior pass rusher. Some scouts love him and he could move up the board on draft day. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't, and have a good day.